of the true highlights on every advanced Auto Parts Monster Jam season schedule. The trip to the Citrus Bowl in Orlando, Florida. Very few events sell out quicker. Orlando always sold out. The tailgate party start at the beginning of the day before the trucks and the drivers are even getting onto the track. And by the time it's showtime, the fans, some of the most rabid in all of advanced Auto Parts Monster Jam, no, they are ready for the biggest and the wildest moves this all-star lineup had to offer. And once again, in 2012, when it came time to freestyle, all of the advanced auto parts Monster Jam superstars were able to deliver those high-flying thrills that the Central Florida fans have become accustomed to getting each and every year. That's why they buy their tickets well in advance and start tailgating early in the morning to cap the night off with an amazing freestyle. Here's the guy going for the double down. And this, you know, when I thought about this, when I said it earlier, I had to go check the books again because it's amazing to me that he has never won a double down trophy in the stadium. He's going for it here. Yeah, he's going for it here. Big air from maximum destruction, and we're just getting started. You know, Neil talked about it in our racing show with this new suspension and this new chassis as well. That truck, the way it lands, it is landing so nicely, but watch this bounce in the rear, how it's kicking up the rear, and they're working on that, but it's not affecting him in his freestyle at all. Well, what a great shot. You can see the intensity and, and just Neil working that wheel, but also those eyes are darting to the next obstacle. This is what the judges are looking for when you're talking momentum and flow. I mean, this is non-stop action. And the funny thing is, Mark, he's not searching for anything. No, it's you know, all right there. You see guys him. driving around trying to find something. Neil just seems to go bang, bang, bang from one move to the next. This is outstanding. Well, you see him on the onboards there as he's looking. Not only that intensity, he's searching out the next obstacle right there. <laughs> nice combo move right there. 15 to go. I would have said anybody else. He's got a problem there, but not Neil Elliott. And he's using every inch of this floor, Mark. I mean, there's nowhere, no obstacle, nothing. He hasn't hit twice, I don't nothing think. Nothing untouched. Into bonus time with this move. He's in trouble. No, no. No, no. He's not in trouble. That's a maximum destruction move. Are you kidding me? I got to oh tell you. My. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Neil Elliott is out of control. <laughs> He's out of his mind. What control are you about? chaos in maximum destruction. You know the thing about that pirouette on the nose? <laughs> the regulation judges were looking at, and so was the bonus judge. Hang on, Neil. Oh, oh my. Get it over. Come on. There you go. Not a backflip. That is a 360 side flip. Well executed. And you know what? Probably <laughs> planned. All the scores are in. Now it's time to have even more, but he's going to do it again. Are you kidding me, Elliot? <laughs> Everybody is standing. Uh, Mark, Mark, I'm going to tell you, I think we'll look at the freestyle of the year. There's more to come. Oh, I have incredible. not seen a better start to finish freestyle by anybody. With all due respect to all the superstars we see every week, it doesn't get any better than that. Brings out the legend for Team Grave Digger, and he's got a big, big order in front of him. He's got to try and top what may be the freestyle of the year. We just saw from Neil Elliott in Maximum Destruction. The thing is, this kid knows how to get points. He's got to write in the book these days. Oh, my goodness. Incredible air. It's technical these days. When cross threading started, you hit a non-purpose built jump. Well, in order for these other guys to go out there, they want everybody to cross thread. They build a cross thread jump. I don't consider it cross-threading, truthfully. You're jumping crooked across the track. So now you have to attack these crooked jumps, <laughs> even more crooked to make it different and more technical, and it's really tough. Boy, he is going after Ellie, and he, oh, you can man. tell he didn't get discouraged. You know, the funny thing is, when Neil wrapped that run up, he, instead of trashing the truck, he was still running. He took a victory lap, and it looked like a wave in this house. Yeah. Everybody stood up in the Citrus Bowl. Now Adam's got to try to beat it. He is going for it. He is not backing down. Looky oh, there! Oh my! That was a tough landing, Scott. He landed right on the chassis, that, but no effect, bad way at all. And that bar in the back did his job. Because oh, yeah. How many times have we seen that type of landing uh -oh. shut the truck off because of that pull pin back there? It didn't yeah. happen. Then. The pull pin is being protected by that bar on Adam's truck. Smartly done. 
as we have documented, Adam doesn't want to do it. He just told you he's not going to do it anybody else's way. And that includes the unique shocks. He's not the only guy running this car. Well, I was talking about David Smith. He patterned his suspension after Adams because he liked it so well. But that's no matter. Adams in bonus time, splitting the body off the legend here and just going for broke. You know, Adam Anderson, as we documented in the beginning of this show, won a tiebreaker against Neil Elliott and Max D. I think he'd be happy if he could just get to that point to get in another tiebreaker with him. He's going for it. He's got to get three or four bonus points. I'm convinced of that. Though. Well, he's getting big air here. He's getting nice combo moves, but the, the crazy off-the-hook stuff that Neil Elliott was doing, oh, my. Look at the speed on that, and he's in big trouble here. Really big trouble. He went into a combo move, but went into it sideways, and that was the demise of that. What I love about this, he's doing all this, and the clock's not starting yet. Not he's just getting everybody fired up. Now it's starting. Ooh, he come up short right there. We cut the shock towers off. We respaced the shocks on this thing. Went to a 30-inch travel instead of a 25 or 26-inch travel on it, and um, we got this thing working good this year, thanks to Dustin Brown and Daniel. Those guys have got it going off the hook. Well, he's got a work in progress there, trying to get that truck to handle. And what I was saying, he came up short there. The back tires case that ramp, and he just about got himself in trouble. But you know, after 30 years, it takes a lot more than that for the icon to get himself in trouble. Yeah, and all the cool Gravedigger 30 merchandise, oh, you know, that my. you can get at the shows and online. Remember, there's two versions. This is the green body. There's also the purple body, and he's alternating it week to week wherever Dennis Anderson takes his 30th anniversary Gravedigger. And when you're at his shows, a lot of times they bring that whole Gravedigger 30th experience. Right now, though, the experience he's got to throw on the track is get everything he can to try and beat Neil Elliott. Digger's going for it. The problem is, Maximum Destruction's run was so over the ragged edge early on. Yeah, Anderson's got to go there, too. And as good as this is, I don't, I don't think it's enough yet, but he's still got time. Yeah, he's got 15 in regulation. He still has another 30 in bonus, but man, oh, man. The man himself has got his work coming out. Nice cross red move there. He is just looking all over this track, Scott, for yeah, something to hit. Yeah, he's thinking of the scoring. Yeah, he gets to it, yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Now it's time. Wow, that was crazy speed. I bet we'll get that shot on our Facebook page. You know, fans are putting all that stuff up there. You, know, you remember, all you gotta do is watch us on YouTube, follow That's us right. on Twitter, like us on Facebook. You got it. It's sweet, because those pictures are bigger like oh that. Oh, my. You're gonna find those Oh, and he's there. in trouble. Bent to four length. Pitched out the rear drive line. He is done. Well, we go out there, we do our best to give these fans the best show that we can give them. We love doing it.